Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by Datacom Solutions, Fellowship of Faith, and Huntsville Hospital. Bulldog fans, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie, your host. The Bulldogs entertained Grambling State University this past Saturday, high school senior day, high school band day, military appreciation day, and oh yes, it was senior day for our senior student athletes on the Bulldog football team. Coach Maynard, you said those gentlemen are responsible for building the foundation of your program. They are. You know, those are guys that since we got here in January, has bought in spring ball, bought in um, this summer. You know, we had probably 60 guys here this summer. Uh, and then fall camp. You know, those guys have done everything we asked them to do, bought into the program, got the young guys to buy into the program, mm -hmm. and, uh, and got us where we are right now at 5-5 five and five with a great opportunity this week playing Valley uh, with a win to get to a winning season, which we haven't had in six years. So those guys have laid the foundation uh, to bigger things to come. Grambling outlasted the Bulldogs 29-16. Coach, early on the ball game, it looked like you were going to make this a great senior day. Yeah, we got off to a good start. We drove down and scored, and uh, then they got three points out of theirs, and we came back down driving again and had the opportunity, and uh, uh, we, we turned it over. And uh, you got to take your hats off to those guys. They play defense too, but we had the opportunity there to go up 14-3 and really put some pressure on there and get off to a good start. We like second and third and fourth chances in America. And of course, Coach, going on the ball game, you were able to say before the game goodbye to your seniors. And then after the game, you had a final reception for them and their families. Yeah, we did. We had a final reception uh, about 5 o'clock after the game uh, in the Knight Center. And uh, it was nice. We, we had all the seniors there and, and their parents. And we gave them an autographed football and a picture of themselves. And we kind of just uh, broke bread and chopped it up a little bit and just wanted them, them to understand how much we appreciate them. Thank you to Alabama A&M Hall of Famer Carlton Rice for those fine photographs. Coach, what's the best thing about meeting student-athletes' families? Well, you, you get to meet them most of the time on, on, uh, when you bring them in on a signing day or recruiting, recruiting them, they, you get to meet them. But uh, this part of it is, is more gratifying because a lot of them are, are about to graduate, and that's what the parents really want is to see their sons and daughters graduate. And so, uh, to see the look on their face with them fulfilling the football season and, and about to graduate is, uh, is gratifying. And we'll have a look at the first half highlights from Senior Day on the Hill when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Hello, I'm Fester Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Darrow brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 98.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just holding your hand. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Yeah.
Welcome back, and thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie, smiling in the chair next to the man that likes to smile. Coach, you get to smile now because you got to reload after senior day. That tells you there's some additional student athletes you need on your team. Yeah, well, you know, uh, everybody do, and it just all depends on how many you have. And uh, we have, I think, 16, so uh, we're better to replace those guys and uh, we should be able to have a big class because uh, everybody won't be full, probably put about – uh, six people on halves, so we'll probably be able to sign 20 guys and bring uh, 25 more ball players in here, and uh, to add on to what we have. And looking forward to a great season. You mentioned this on Bulldog Talk, Coach, but let me ask you here on the Alabama a and Football Review: the sanctions affected you how with scholarships? Uh, just one. Uh, we have to lose uh, five over the next five years, so uh, basically just one scholarship a year is really not going to affect us at all. Um, and then uh, postseason is just this year. That's not going to affect anybody that we signed this year because that's going to be over with after, after this season. Uh, that, uh, that sanction will be over with. And so your coaches have to hit the recruiting trail. When do you come in to the recruiting coach? Uh, when we have some issues, uh, have some questions, I, I might have to go in and do some home visits and, and try to, try to um, – uh, went over to family and, and, and the young man to come on in if he's really undecided, and, but mm -hmm. he's real close between us and somebody else. And, and so then we go, do it, go in and do a home visit and really just let the, the mom and dad understand how much uh, we really want him here and how we're going to act. Coach Maynard started his career in college, Winston-Salem State. You were recruited. And that story you'll get to tell later as we watch the paratroopers who came in on the field on Military Appreciation Day. That was a fine exhibition before the Bulldogs looking mean and clean come on the field. Yeah, yeah, that was nice uh, uh, to run through and have those guys run through with us was great. And of course, Coach, the Bulldogs said we start the game, getting the ball first, but it was an opening drive led by Trayvon Walters. All right, yes, yeah, good run there on the inside zone by Trayvon. I wish you could have put that ball in the other hand and stiff on that guy. Those are little things that we talk about getting better at doing. And again, another fine run right up the middle. Another run, another hard run by Trayvon. Here's another run. And, uh, you know, that's a great saving tackle there, but we still got eight yards on it. Coach Trayvon Walters is a senior. We're thankful to him for his service to Alabama A&M University. Young man has a bright future ahead of him. He does. You know, he's, um, he's a great young man on and off the football field, and, and he'll be successful in life. Here's another one of your seniors, Octavius Miles. Yeah, you see, it just seemed like everybody's shoestringing us, tackling us by our shoestrings where we got to be able to pull through that. And right there, see, a kill should have pulled that ball. That guy was closing down, and so we got to do a better job of that. And that's a good play right here. Terrell Gardner. By Gardner. And then Octavius got it. Well, he was running the go route, so this guy kind of, he, he let him go there. But still a good play by Terrell. We've been talking to him about catching that ball, running out of bounds. Instead, you know, he's... He's getting it. He turned it back up. When you talk about a read and keeping the ball, here's an example, Coach, yeah. of what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, it's a bad read. Should have gave the ball right there. It's, you got one guy to read. But we come back and uh, throw the slant here for a touchdown. A Mar class. Marcellus, California class. Yeah, he's not going to drop anything, man. That guy got hands uh, better than his hands better than all state. Good day on senior day for him. Great day. Catch the touchdown pass. Yeah, that's a great way to go out, man. Catch a touchdown pass. Give us the lead. And, um, you know, we, we're looking good right now. Guys are excited, playing hard. With the extra point being good, the Bulldogs are up 7 to nothing. How do you feel about that? Oh, I feel great. You know, we, we took it down and scored on them. And right now, if they don't score, we win a football game. So, uh, you know, it's, it's always great to go down and score. Spencer Corey with the kickoff. Slight breeze out of the north yesterday. And we must give credit to our fans, the 3,900 who sat in that frigid temperature to watch Senior Day. Yeah, that's, that was great. You know, uh, you get that many people out, uh, 40 degrees, and support us on Senior Day and, and support us on our last home game. Um, I thought that was great. But it is home field advantage. We are in North Alabama. Weather should be on our side. Yeah, weather should be on our side. So, uh, you know, we, we fought. There's a bad snap there, and, you know, we had an opportunity. We couldn't get off the field on third down this first drive. A couple of crucial calls, a couple of crucial plays. I think there was one third and 18, Coach. Yeah, uh, 13, I believe, maybe. But, um, yeah, it was a big play, and, you know, they got a first down. But he, they, we held him to a field goal there, and now we back, and Trayvon's doing what he do. <laughs> Getting up in the middle and running the football, Coach, and here's a new formation. 
but another pass over the middle by Glass. Yeah, I guess a little bit of a wrinkle on that formation, but. Um, and again, David Carlisle, another senior. Another senior on third down, making a big catch there to keep the drive going. So we're driving the ball right back down again. This is our second possession of the game. His little dump pass to Jenkins, he makes somebody miss and gets the first down. And um, we first and 10 at the 33-yard line, driving to go up 14-3. to Interesting, during these highlights, Coach, we see the seniors making plays and we see your freshmen making plays as well. Yeah, that's, you know, that's good. You know, the seniors have been here and they should be in a position where they're playing and helping the football team win games. And, and then when anytime you got freshmen out there on the football field making plays, that's also a great sign because you got those guys for three more years. There's some things, Coach, as Grambling gets a field goal and another field goal to get closer to the Bulldogs. One thing that you think about, Coach, is what a fine defensive play by another senior, Romel Fields, who had an outstanding game yesterday. Yes, he did. And again, that was a great coverage and just knocked that ball down. And that's what we want him to do. And those guys, here's a high throw on third down and we off the field and we, we got the ball back again. Sorry, I gave you an incorrect score. Grambling now leads 10 to 7. And we did see number 27, Devin, D Dylan Hamilton with another fine play as well, and we'll see more from him later in the game. Yeah, here's uh, Bentley, gassing up the Bentley. He's got an innate ability, Coach, to make people miss. He does. He's, he's a good football player. So we had to settle for a field goal here, bogged down there, and uh, tied up at 10-10. So we're in good shape right now. Especially thinking that you've taken some blows, a pick six, Grambling scores a touchdown on that. Being able to say if we can take care of the mistakes and we can stay in the ball game. Yeah, we just got a big interception that to give us the ball back at the 27 yard line. And uh, now, uh, this right here was a great play. Akil Glass checked this play. Oh, really? And this is one I checked for the week when we saw this defense. We wanted to check this play. And um, he checked to that play, but we weren't able to get anything out of it. Uh, we bogged down there, and uh, I think Akil fumbled there. So um, that was another turnover, a big play in the game. and. Um, you know, a game of this magnitude, you can't, you can't have four turnovers and uh, I think we have four uh, turnovers and you're not going to beat a great team like Grambling with four turnovers. Now your seniors have been in big ball games, coach. They know how you have to respond. Your freshmen, sophomores in big ball games, what do they have to learn to be able to perform well? Yeah, just do what you ask to do. Do your job. That's how you, do, you perform um, um, when your opportunity uh, uh, and when you're prepared and, and you get opportunity, you execute. It's not luck. It's, it's when uh, opportunity meets preparation and you, got, you just perform. And we see where opportunity meets preparation. The fine halftime show offered by the Marching Maroon and White and several se senior high school students that were on campus at high school senior day, too many to say, Coach, had a fine performance. And we'll take more look at the second half highlights when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review. <laughs> Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 90.9 WJAV FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. Give your all to me. Give my all to you. 90.9 FM WJAB. For the campus of Alabama A&M University. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs. 
or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. Coach, you're down 17-10 at the half. We always ask you this question. What are you thinking about going in the locker room? Well, you know, uh, they got uh, one touchdown from us, pick six. The other drive they got, it was actually three penalties on that drive. And uh, we only had three penalties at halftime. So that drive was aided by penalties. And so the two scoring drives came, one from a pick six, and one from three penalties. So we felt pretty good defensively mm -hmm. about what we was doing. We kept getting them in third and long uh, the whole first half. So right. we was playing well on defense. We just needed to continue doing what we was doing. Offensively, we had 10 points, and we had an uh, opportunity to have probably 14 to 21 other points. We mm -hmm. had turnovers. So we knew if we just stop shooting ourselves in the foot, take care of the football, we have a chance to move the ball up and down the field uh, to, to put more points on the board. So we was, we was uh, looking forward to the second half. And, of course, the Bulldogs are playing the second half, hoping to close out senior day with a fantastic finish. Coach, your last opportunity with these young men here at Lewis Cruz Stadium, what also is on your mind? I right, just getting a W for them. Knowing those guys playing well, you know, it's senior day for them. So I want those guys to be, go out there and make some plays and get a W because it's senior day for them. But I'm going to have a senior day every year. Every year that I coach, I'm going to have a senior day. So I wanted it for those guys. And, of course, Coach, the start of the second half, Grambling gets the ball first. Bulldogs rolled up some yardage yesterday, Coach. Defense held Grambling down. You're in this ball game and hoping to stay there. Yeah, we had more yardage than they did, uh, but we also had more turnovers than they did. And at the end of the day, you got to take care of the football, and we didn't do that. Of course, you don't expect to win a game if you don't win the turnover battle. That's right, especially when you have four to their one. A couple of do formations for us, Coach. You're trying to get that quick pitch action, action to be able to get around Grambling's defense in the middle. Yeah, just taking, taking advantage of what they've given us and uh, the way they're playing. So, you know, you got to change up the formation, give them some, a couple of different looks. And here's another play where, you know, we just got to be able to get out of that shoestring tackle. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody hits you in the mouth, yeah, but these shoestring tackles, we got to be able to get out of them. Here's another great play by the defense, uh, getting a sack. We must compliment Yurik Bethune, another one of your seniors, Coach, played well for you. Yes, he's a great player. And see, there you go, you're making the right read. See the guy squeeze and he pull it. You got to do that. You got to continue to do that and keep the defense honest and just do your job one play at a time. We used to, old school people like you and I, Coach, used to the wishbone, veer option offense. Then watching the option offenses today, how hard is it to find a quarterback that can do that? Well, you can find an option quarterback, but... You want a quarterback can do it all, you know, um, move the chains, check, in, check out of plays. Here's Octavius on a quick screen that he took to the house last week, getting about 20, 25 yards, playing hard, and we're driving again. And this is fourth down right here, and he comes up a yard short because mm. he stopped. If he just run, keep running, his full momentum, by the time they get him to the ground, he got the first down. So, again, that's a walk-on freshman. We're still trying to teach these guys how to, how to win and, mm -hmm. and how to finish and – and this is a learning experience. You know, we're going to learn from it. We're going to get better. Um, here's Dylan on the run right here and come up a little short, and we go for it and wind up getting bogged down there. But Another uh, huge defensive play, Coach. The defensive line played well as they have all year. Yeah. Here we go, just a little hitch route, trying to get us get out of this uh, end zone. And it's a quarterback draw here. It's a great run by Dylan. Uh, we need him to stay in bounds here. Get stay in bounds, Dylan. Cut back. <laughs> Coach, that run, and we thought later on that Dylan might have been tired after making that run. You made a quarterback change. Coach, when did you think about that, halftime or in the start of the fourth quarter? Oh, after the last pick, man. I mean, you know, you can't just keep doing that. Uh, you know, it was unforced and just making bad decisions. And uh, so we, we figured, you know, we need to make a move. Right now, see, he should have stuck his foot in the ground right there, Ted. Mm -hmm. And he got in the end zone. But, you know, that, that hole right there, he, he should have stuck his foot in the ground. And let's stick your foot in the ground and cut up off that and yeah. then go right ahead yeah. in the lane that yeah. you get. But he got in. See, right there. Stick your foot in the ground and go. You know, 
mean, he took a hard shot here, Coach. Mm -hmm. You know, also on the the ensuing extra point attempt, there was a bad snap, bad hold, but Grambling is able to recover the football and then return it for two points. Yeah, that was that was huge. Uh, you think Dylan was tired after the play? Man, got his bell rung before that. He might have been, but there's no excuse to be tired. You're an athlete. Win the last game of the second, the last game of the season. Everybody should be in shape by now. So here's another play. Bulldogs trying to score. Time running down in the game, and the Bulldogs are running that two-minute drill that people talk about. Yeah, and, then, and and we got bogged down, and hit, we went forward and got stopped. And now we're back on defense, and uh, now we, we stopped and we got the ball back. And, Here's a throw down the middle there. That was a Davis. good catch, Coach. It was. It was a good catch and a good run after the catch. And then we end up with the final Grambling 29 of the Bulldogs 16 on senior day, Coach. Some of your memories of coming in, you've been to different programs and had to do this before, get seniors to buy into your program. What do you do unique about that that works for you? I just try to be honest and, uh, you know, and let these guys know it's their senior year, it's their team, it's not my team, it's the seniors team and they got to lead them and they got to take over and if they want to win this season, they'll lead these guys the right way mm -hmm. because they, the younger guys are going to follow them one way or the other, either they're going to follow them to the crack house or they're going to follow them and, and live and go to class and do everything you're supposed to do and, and bust your butt. So if you're busting your butt going first, and you turn around and somebody ain't running, you make them run, then everybody's going to run. And so they're going to follow the, follow the seniors. Which way are you going to lead them? Mm -hmm. And uh, I try to get them guys, let them know that it's your team and you got to lead them. If you want a winning record your senior year, then you got to lead them the right way. And of course, Bulldogs have that opportunity to do so. When we come back, we'll take a look at the Bulldogs' final game of the season at Mississippi Valley State next week. When we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review. <laughs> Hello, I'm Fester Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals and the home of mellow madness till midnight You bring me joy 90.9 WJAB from the campus of Alabama A&M University Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Again, thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynor. I'm Ted Dixie. The Bulldogs' final game of the 2018 season will be this Saturday morning, Saturday morning at Mississippi Valley State. Kickoff is scheduled for 11.30 a.m. That means the pregame show, excuse me, 11 a.m. The pregame show may be heard at 10.30 a.m. on 90.9 FM WJAB. Coach, it's already early for me. I got the time wrong. What are you going to do about keeping your schedule that morning? 
Well, we've got to move everything up two hours. Um, so pregame meal will be um, 7 o'clock. We'll do a little walkthrough probably about uh, 6.30. And uh, we always eat four hours before. So we do our pregame meal. After the pregame meal, we get on the bus, head to the stadium, get ready to play a football game. So um, we just move everything up two hours. And we're going to actually leave two hours earlier uh, Friday. So you're keeping the two hours through your entire schedule. Yeah, we want to get there two hours before we normally would get so the guys can uh, get off their feet and get a little bit of sleep because it's going to be early morning. Important game for the Bulldogs. If the Bulldogs win, that will be the first winning season that this program has had since 2012, Coach. That's why you were brought to Alabama A&M University. Yeah, and those are the goal, you know, uh, for this year. If somebody asked me what would be a good season, I told them a winning season because we haven't had one in six years. You got to teach these guys how to win, uh, how to finish. And um, that's what we're doing. And we're in, a great, we're in a great position to have a winning season uh, just by winning this week, beating Val uh, Valley. So uh, it's looking good. Coach, your folks that monitor, maintain, and produce the images that we see on the video board, let's give that team a big round of applause. Thank you, Mr. Michael Morns and your team. They had some great footage, Coach. I know you look at the board whenever it's a crucial play and look for the replay, and there it is. Yeah, they do a great job of, uh, um, you know, making me tell the ref, look up there. <laughs> Look at him. You see, you missed that call. There it is right there. So they do a great job of that, and I appreciate them. And we thank you so much, Coach. Now, of course, you've got another big activity this week. Yeah, I do. Uh, we're going to do a Alabama A&M football feed a, feed a needy family for Thanksgiving. So we need all, all the community and, and alumni and friends to bring us presentable foods by the field house here by Wednesday of this week uh, because – we're going to pass them out Thursday before we go to Valley because once we come back from Valley, uh, school is out. We're on uh, Thanksgiving break, so we need that here in the next three days, and we're going to pass them out ourselves Thursday and, uh, before we leave. Look for the social media blitz with this fine idea from the Bulldog football team. So for Coach Maynard, for Michael Burns, for Michael Morris, I'm Ted Dixie. Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Mays.